Without a plan, revision might be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. A quick disclaimer. OpenAI's large-scale language generation tool ChatGPT may have been used to draft some content in this episode. StudySquare LTD has adapted the content and takes full responsibility for the publication. So let's learn more about periodic table structure. The periodic table displays information about elements, both discovered and synthetically produced. Commonly, a periodic table includes chemical symbols, one to two letter abbreviations, atomic numbers, and relative atomic masses of elements, with the latter number being approximately twice bigger. Elements are made up of small particles called atoms that can be combined into larger structures and make up the most of matter on Earth. The majority of elements are metals, the left side of the periodic table, except for hydrogen, while a fraction of them are metalloids and non-metals, the upper right corner of the periodic table. Elements in the periodic table are arranged in groups, which are columns, and periods, which are rows, according to an increasing atomic number. Many elements in the same groups have similar physical and chemical properties due to having the same number of electrons in their outer shells. In fact, it has been the periodicity of the properties of elements that has inspired Dmitry Mendeleev to group elements into a table in the first place. First, he has ordered elements in an order of increasing relative atomic mass, just to realize that it was not the most efficient option. Once the order has been adjusted to be according to the atomic number, a few more elements have matched their positions in the periodic table. Now let's mention a question that could be asked in this topic. What's the difference between an element and an atom? Now if you want to access the solution and the answer for this question, use the link in the show notes. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a five-star rating or a review. The next topic we're going to revise is electronic structure. Electronic arrangement structure or configuration is up to seven numbers separated by commas, indicating the number of electrons in each shell of electrons in an atom, starting from the lowest shell. To predict electronic configuration, first obtain the atomic number of an element which is the sum of the numbers in the configuration. Then use the structure 2, 8, 8, 2 for the first 20 elements in the periodic table, and starting from the first number, maximize each of values in 2, 8, 8, 2 up until the sum of them reaches the atomic number. For example, phosphorus with an atomic number of 15 has an electronic structure of 2, 8, 5 since 2 plus 8 plus 5 equals 15. Electronic configuration can be represented as circles with dots or crosses, with the smallest circle being the first orbital. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Identify the element that has the electronic arrangement of its atoms shown in the image. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.